17,812 diamond number two. You saw all oh, the J Rob auto, yeah, that was nice. Get out of my way, case. New cases and uh, new stickers and stuff like that. A lot of new stuff with this. We've got a 349 for Seattle Grubauer. A lot of the cards feel different as well. I, I noticed earlier today it says printed in Canada. So that's different. Number to 99. Rookie Gems Short Print Auto. Saz Jarvis. Yeah, these are printed in Canada, but definitely the cases like those white stickers are monstrous. That's like for for us, it's a brand new thing. The tape is different. There's a lot of different things on these cards. I like it. We've got a cup winner patches of Ovechkin for the caps. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but like look how flush that patch is. Like normally there's an indent for those and like there's nothing now. So they feel interesting. I don't know how to really word it. <laughs> Diamond Mine Relics, Carter Hart. Like I said, with the jerseys and the patches all being flush like that, like it's it's a weird feeling. Good. They definitely did a good job. Carter Hart. We've got a rookie gems for the Preds of Tomasino. Tomasino, 399. And hey, we got your last case. Spencer Knight, 399. Also, just a reminder, because I know we have the discussion on a lot of high end products that have uh, master cases. As you guys can see, that's a second Spencer Knight at a $3.99, one in each case. Every case is built on the inner, not a master. To just be 100% clear to you guys, they build, Upper Deck builds cases, specifically these ones, on inners. So, if you get one good case, the other one is not necessarily going to have to be good or bad, or vice versa. $3.99, Brent Burns, San Jose. They build them on the fives. Burns. We've got a number to 50. Silver on black signatures. Phil Esposito. Esposito number 50. Oh, by the way, the top left of this one looks like it's a bit. Let's see if I can focus in. You know what's funny, Van Dirk? Originally, I would, and this is just my opinion, so, on this. We've got a Team Logo Jumbos Rookie Cider for the Red Wings. Where it opened my eyes, Van Dirk, and this, again, just my pure out opinion, is a couple years ago, and I can't remember which year it was, we opened up uh, Black Diamond. Diamond Cutters! Mitch Marner, Maple Leafs. Uh, we opened up a Gretzky team logo jumbos. And in the same break, we opened up a Gretzky jersey out of 25. Diamond Stars, a 249 of Hughes for New Jersey. On eBay, the team logo jumbos of Gretzky sold for 78. The jersey sold for 42. And we've got number to 299, Trevor Zegras. That's a sick one. Anaheim Ducks. And it just kind of surprised me that a actual jersey numbered to 25 of Gretzky would sell less than a team logo Jumbos. And literally almost double. And you start realizing, like, sometimes I don't know if people really care. I agree. If that was a patch, different animal. I agree with you on that. Autograph, different animal. But a base jersey nowadays, I feel like people like uniqueness in their cards. We've got a short print base, number to 50, of Sveshnikov. So at the end of the day, it's one of those things. Do you want the customer to be happy with the value of a box? That's a new one. Sparkling scripts. 
Kevin Fiala from Minnesota. But don't get me wrong. I'm not saying your opinion's obviously wrong or mine's right or anywhere near that. There's obviously difference of opinions on what you people like. There's no wrong or right. We've got a run for the cup. Number to 99 for the Avs. Peter Forsberg. Forsberg, 99. Triple Diamond Mine Relics, O.V. Backstrom Carlson. Backstrom. We've got a rookie gems, Trevor Zegris. I will say, I, I, I'm noticing that you're seeing a lot of the big rookies quite often in this. Which I like that, that fact of this. And we've got a $3.99 exquisite moment, Cole Caulfield. Uh, you are correct, Van Dirk. Never mind, yeah. I agree, but the thing is, could that not be just be said with any numbered card or acetate or any um, cool-looking card? Like, to me, and this is my opinion, a manufactured patch is on the same level as, like, an acetate, you know, card or, like, the run for the cup. I look at it as the exact same as that. It's a really unique insert, I guess you'd classify it as. 349, Tara Vinen. Carolina. We've got a diamond debut relics patch auto to 49. David Ference. Nashville's getting some good stuff. Out of 49, Ference for Nashville. We've got num not number diamond mine relics. Sydney Crosby for Pittsburgh. Nice. Might be a short print, I'm guessing. We've got a Diamond Futures for the San Jose Sharks of Eklund. He actually is a decent rookie that we missed in the first case, I believe. Eklund. And holy moly, that's awesome. Exquisite Patch. Number to 49, Jonathan Huberto. Huberto. Well, realistically, I do think obviously costs come into play, Van. Obviously, I'm sure you're well aware of that, right? Where it's probably cheaper for them to produce it. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, if you're if people are opening a three four hundred dollar box, I think what they were looking for is the most dollar values back. And if those are the highest selling items, makes sense, right? Three forty nine, David Perron. And then I, I just purely look at them as a really cool insert. Double diamond. Number to 49, Cole Sillinger. Got a nice little shine to these, by the way, so it might not be too easy to see on the uh, screen. 49, Columbus Sillinger, double diamond. Or in all honesty, Van, very similar to diamonds, right? We know they're not like real diamonds. Team Logo Jumbos, new hook for Colorado. We also didn't get any new hook, I don't think, in the first case. So he's a new decent rookie. Uh, Diamond debut relics of Cam York for Philly. But I also agree with you, the exquisites right now are very on point. Very on point. Diamond Futures of LaPierre to 249, Washington. 
And number to 399 exquisite, Sydney Crosby.